All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Alienware M17R3. All right, so you're gonna use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver, and then we're gonna remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, you wanna keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. So let's go ahead and remove the screw. All right, these screws seem to be really long. Wow, okay. So the way I keep them in order is I put them with the flat side down like this, and then I just keep them in the pattern that I remove them on my desk, all right? So just in this rectangular pattern, okay? These screws have smooth edges here, so I'm thinking the screw's actually supposed to stay in the computer. I don't know why it just came completely out like that, but uh, I guess we'll see if all the screws come out like that, or... Okay, I guess they all come out like that. All right, so these screws are actually very different in size, shape, and length, so be very careful. If you put the wrong screw in the wrong spot, you can damage the computer. So as you can see, this screw is actually staying in. I think actually all the screws are supposed to stay in, but for some reason, um, those other two just came out. So it's kind of strange. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's go ahead and continue removing these screws. See, as you can see, these screws actually stay in. So I don't know why these, the first two I took out um, came out. But again, you want to keep the screws in order. Okay, so I'm just going to take them out. And if they come out all the way, then they come out all the way. See, I don't know why this one came out all the way as well. Something's going on with this. I don't think, they're not supposed to. From the design, it looks like the screws are supposed to stay in. But for some reason, they're coming out, so whatever. Okay, so here you can see if it works properly, um, the screw, when it comes up, is actually supposed to create a gap like this so that you can get underneath the cover. So here you can see it comes out pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and go down the side. I'm going to just slide my fingernail along the side as I kind of lift this. Let's flip this over and let's do the same thing on this side. I might have to remove the screws on the back as well. Let's see. Let's go ahead and continue removing this. Okay, here we can see this part is coming up pretty easily. So, I don't know if I'm gonna have to remove some other stuff. It's getting caught in the center here. Okay, so there we go. Came out just like that, again. Yeah, these screws are supposed to stay in. Where are all these little washers here? So here you can see, these have little metal washers here. So I don't know where the metal washers for all the other ones are um, because those metal washers should technically be on all of every single screw. So as you can see, this screw can't come out because the metal washer there. So either somebody opened this before and lost those or the people that um, put this thing together screwed up because they're not inside this computer. All right, so now we need to figure out which fan is bad. And then I need to see if we can fix it without take, without um, completely ripping everything apart. Apparently, this laptop is still in warranty, so I need to find out from the customer if they want me to risk pulling it apart. It looks like there's two screws here holding this bottom cover or this back cover, and then there's two more screws on the back here. So I need to find out from my customer first. There's some really fine powdery dust here. Uh, and that's most likely why his fan um, is getting all messed up. Okay, I'm going to try and just brush this stuff off real quick. Whatever, I guess this is all going to end up in my work area. Okay, I'm going to have to actually clean this outside. I'm going to use my air blower, electric air blower outside. Okay, and then we'll see what the customer wants me to do. So you got an M.2, I'm pretty sure there's a PCIe NVMe SSD. One screw comes up, the wireless card is soldered to the board. There's another M.2 uh, PCIe SSD slot here. It even tells you PCIe only. So this laptop has room for another SSD. Um, here you can see all that's, let's see what's under here. I don't want to mess this thing up. There's all these cables are attached to this adhesive. That's pretty weird. 
Okay, yeah, I don't want to mess with this too much until the customer is for sure like they want me to work on it. Here you can see um, it looks like the video card and everything is all under here. There's all these strange connectors here, so I don't know if I should mess with this. This looks like one of those contact metal connectors like how um, Apple does their battery thing. Um, but the battery is down here and it connects right here. So this is pretty interesting. It's like multi-layer motherboard design. Okay, so... Yep, yeah. and then you got another, there's a third SSD slot here, but this is for a 2230, which I guess that's the half-sized SSDs. Um, and I don't see any easy access to the RAM, so... Huh. This looks pretty crazy. So, I don't know if I want to mess around with this too much, especially since, it, since it's still in warranty. I don't want to avoid any warranties in here, so... I'm going to let the customer <coughs> decide um, because this model looks pretty different from other stuff I'm used to working on. So there might be a bit more risk involved. You got the speaker connector down here running along to the second speaker. And yeah, I don't know what this PW cable's for. <clears throat> it looks like this thing you'd have to take the whole motherboard apart. I don't know. I don't like that. There's no there's no access easy access to RAM here. Let's see. So here you can see there's like this is like a second board here. It's separate from this. Um so that's kind of yeah. I guess this is more of a quick look inside. Um you could easily upgrade to add two more SSDs, but other than that, um Right now, I'm not seeing any other stuff. So I'm going to just blow the dust out for now. Um, okay, I can already tell this fan is the one that's bad. So as you can see on this side, this one, when it stops, it like wiggles like this. This one, when you do it, it just gets stuck. So I'm going to try and blow this out and see if that helps. But most likely, I'm going to have to take this apart. But they do put tape to hold it onto this heat sink here. So I don't think it's going to be an easy uh, removal video. All right, anyways, we'll see what my customer wants. If they want me to do it, then there will be a part two. Otherwise, this is all that there's going to be. Um, so I'll blow out the dust real quick and then put the cover back on. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back, cleaned out the dust here. All right. And I don't want to peel up anything here because that might void warranty. So we're just going to put it back together. So this fan, I cleaned out the dust. As you can see, it's still spinning weird. I don't know if in here, if it's possible to add grease through here. I most likely have to take the fan apart. <clears throat> but again, I'm going to see what the customer wants to do. Because this will definitely... Uh, I think we'll definitely void some warranties if I try and pop that open. So as you can see, the cover opens up from this side and then it slides out this way because there are these little um, parts here that slide into that back frame area. Okay, again, I don't know why only a few of the screws stay in place. It's missing all those little metal washers that should be in there holding it in place. Um, so... Whoever um, built this, they didn't assemble it properly. So we're going to go ahead and just put back all these screws. Again, it's not assembled right, but whatever. All right. We'll put back the screws that are there. <clears throat> if yours is like the same thing and only has these four screws that stay in place, let me know. Um, because that's really strange. All right, let's flip this back over so I get these screws back in right. Yeah, I find that really odd that the screws are like that. They should have the little washers in the entire thing. Okay. Very strange. It's a trap. <laughs> 
Maybe it's like that by design so that you think you have to like take all the screws out and then you wonder why they're not coming out. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, <clears throat> that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you at least a little bit just to see what the inside of this model looks like if you don't own it yet. Or if you own it, hopefully it lets you see that if you're not going to waste your time opening it because all you can do is add SSDs. The RAM is going to be like a lot more work to get to if it even is replaceable. I don't know. I would assume that a gaming laptop like this, the RAM should be replaceable. <clears throat> so I don't know. It's probably on the other side of the board, but that kind of makes it almost not replaceable. So anyways, thanks for watching. Again, if this helped you, like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Um, and if this video helped you save some money, though I don't think this one really helped save money because I didn't really do too much of a disassembly. But if you can, contribute a little to the channel. Every little bit helps. Even a dollar is greatly appreciated. And thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.